हेलो लर्नर्स ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम टी चंद्रशेखर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश कामराज कॉलेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ पोम टाइटल्ड टू द वर्जिन टू मेक मच ऑफ टाइम रिटर्न बाय रॉबर्ट हेरिक ओके बिफोर वी गेट टू नो अबाउट द पोएम लेट अस हैव अ ब्रीफ लुक एट द ऑथर Robert Herrick is a British poet. He belongs to the 17th century. His famous work entitled Hesperides. Okay? It was a poetry collection and he published this particular poetry collection in the year 1648. In fact, the poem to the virgin to make much of time was included was extracted from that particular poetry collection. okay so now we have looked at the author now we are going to see a brief note about the structure of the poem the poet robert herrick has written it in four stanzas each stanza carries four lines usually we call it as a quatrain so this poem has 16 lines overall now we have seen about the structure of the poem now we have learned about the structure of the poem now we are going to enter into the poem okay in the first stanza that is in the first quatrain the poet says that pick the buds before it die he says that today's buds will become a flower tomorrow and it will fade it will die after some time like that he youngsters he beautiful youngsters your youthfulness is also a temporary one so please make most of it then in the second stanza the poet in the second stanza we can read the phrase it states that the glorious lamp of the heaven can you guess about what he is talking here he talks about the sun okay at the end of the phrase we can read a word it states heaven actually we are we are in a search of heavenly life that is the happiest life okay actually the through this phrase through these words the poet says that we are already in a blissful life we are we are already in a life which can be called as a heavenly life okay so so through this through this phrase the glorious lamp of the heaven he says that in the morning the sun rises then it takes high then in the evening it sets like that your your youthfulness is also temporary it will also you will become a old one day so please make most of it in the third stanza the poet says that the ants bled will be more warmer than ever so you can enjoy you can make commitment on your own at the same time you should make the full use of your youthfulness in the fourth stanza that is in the final quatrain the poet advises the poet strongly advises to his readers that to get married because your youthfulness is a temporary one you will become old one day so get married soon so this is the message he conveys through this poem learners i hope you enjoy this video thank you have a nice day